Hi, Mark Diaz here for TutorAnimation101.com. In this lesson, we are going to do character animation. We are going to animate an organic walk cycle, okay? First, if you have Moho the view, don't worry, you can follow along by going to the project files, opening the Moho folder, and then selecting this file, Shy Steve Simple Rig. Oh no, actually, this is the one the shy Steve rig, okay? This is the one prepared with the target bones and everything. And what we want to accomplish is the ending result of the walk cycle, the finished version. You can have access to this one also so you can see everything I did right here, okay? And so I'm going to have that open and... and open shy Steve. This is the rig with the ground and everything, okay? Let me put the tab in the correct order. Okay, so let's get it started. Let's start animating this character. I'm going to go a little bit fast doing everything we've learned so far and applying and put it all together to create the walk cycle, the organic walk cycle, okay? Let's get it started. Okay, first let me explain you my system. The way I do walk cycles is that I go second by second. I start on second one and then I move to, let me use white, I think it's better, yeah. I start on second one, that's one step. I will have a bunch of keyframes here. Then I move to step two and then I add more keyframes for the next key pose, the next step, okay? Then second three is going to be a duplicate of second one, okay? So we just going to have two key positions, position one and position two. And then I'm going to duplicate those. The third pose will be exactly a copy of pose one and the fourth pose will be exactly a copy of pose two and so on, okay? That's the way I like to keep things simple, okay? So I'm going to ignore the first frames and I'm going to go ahead and go to second one, which is frame 24. And actually, I don't want to be messing up with the file you're gonna be using, so let me save as. And I'm going to save as rig mark animation. Okay, now, I was about to make a huge mistake, but now I'm redeemed. Okay, let's do this. What you want to do is don't try, if you try to, okay, put everything in the correct place in your first try, oh my god, there's a lot of things going on at the same time, you see? The hands, the feet, the neck, everything. There are a lot of details going on at the same time. And the way to tackle this is first focus on the animation for only one foot only one leg, okay? And after you have that, then we are going to focus on the next leg, okay? And then we are going to focus on the bouncing effect of the body, and so on, part by part, okay? Let's go to the first position of the left leg, this one right here, okay? Okay, the first thing I want to do with the position of the left leg is visualize a line here in front of his belly. I want to align his foot around there, okay? So let me do that. It's going to be like this. And focusing on maintaining the foot, the corner of the foot, in the right place, okay? That will be the first position of the foot. And then I go to the second position, which is second two. Okay, and for the second position, I'm going to visualize another line around here, and that's where I'm going to put his foot. Let me bring it back. I'm holding shift to constrain the X axis. And as you can see, if I want to put it here, I need to lower his body. But if I do that, I'm going to add a keyframe to the body, to the master controller. 
So what I'm going to do is go back to frame one in the timeline. I can do that by just pressing Alt Left and that jumps to the previous keyframe. If I press Alt Forward, it will jump forward to the next keyframe. Let me show you. Alt Forward, Alt Backward. You see, I can jump through the keyframes like that. I'm going to be doing that a lot. And I don't use my keyboard. I'm using a gamer mouse and I added those shortcuts to the buttons in my mouse. So it's faster for me. Okay. Okay. Now let me, I go to frame one. I go to keyframe of the first position and then bring this a little bit down. There. Now this allows me to put the second position of the foot more correctly. There, right there on the ground. Okay, so this is the animation I have so far. This is what this feed is going to be doing. I'm just scrolling from one position to the other. And that's what this foot is going to be doing. Okay, all the time. Well, that's the first part. Now let's add more details to this movement. And so because I need this foot to move from the one place to the other, all I have to do is, as I said in the beginning, I'm just going to copy and put this position on key post 3. Okay, so all I do is put my cursor on second 3, then select those, copy and paste. That's it. Super easy. What I did is I copy and pasted the keyframes of whatever I have selected in the workspace. So I have that the correct bone selected, yes. And so I just copy and pasted the correct keyframes. Okay. Now, let me show you what I'm doing. The foot goes through the ground like this, and then it, ha it has to go up and then land right there. Right now, the movement is going through the ground, right? What I need is do this. I need the trajectory to be like this, go up and then land. Okay. So for this, right in the middle, right here, I'm going, I have those two keyframes, right? So right in the middle on frame 60, I'm going to lift this around there. So you see, and now I have this movement, it goes like that and then it lands. Okay. Now let me tell you how to do this organically. Obviously this could work for a robot, but not for an organic being. What I'm going to do is make the movement of this leg more organic. Let me tell you how. If we want to apply one of the principles of animation, we will be violating it because right now, this is traveling in a triangle form. It's traveling like this. And what we want is an arc, which is one of the principles of animation. To have organic movement, you need arcs. So what we are going to do is add something like this. The movement is going to be like this. First, it's going to go to this position then it will go to this position and then it will land there. Okay? Instead of this. And this might be counterintuitive because right here you can say, okay, so I guess in the timeline the keyframes will go in these places, right? Well, no. Right now I'm going to apply some principles. I'm going to play with the timing, another principle of animation. I start here, then this will be the second position, and then the third position will be here, and then it will land here. So the four positions are going to be distributed like this. Okay? So let's do that. Instead of the left foot going to that place, I'm going to change the position. From here, I'm going to just lift it almost to this point. What I want is the foot to be lifted a little bit higher than his foot. So around there and about here. Okay, so let me put it in that position. Around there. 
and it, oh sorry I'm moving the wrong keyframe let me undo and go to frame 60 and actually I'm going to copy and paste this I just have the mouse on frame 60 copy and paste position 2 okay now from here I just lift it to the correct position around there and then I go to frame 60 just in front of his leg of his crutch around here okay let me do that I just select it and put it around there and then it lands and so I have this movement okay let me copy and paste position 2 and put it on position 4 okay let me go to frame 4 then copy position 2 copy and paste very good that's what I'm looking for now right now it looks terrible let me tell you why we did this because actually let me show you an analysis file that I created for you so you can go deeper and take as much as you want to analyze the animation let me open that file It's right here and as you can see check this foot the left foot it has to bend like this when you're walking you have to bend the foot like this then it stretches and lands again you see and as you can see there are let me tell you how to analyze this all of those are keyframes of the whole layer of what layer Steve layer and the keyframes on the red lines are the keyframes of your selected object in this case the left leg and so in, in just ignore all of this ignore that and pay attention to those keyframes that we just added this is that position you see so that's why we need it just a little bit up let me use blue a little bit up so the foot can bend like so okay and this is the result we're looking for that will be the animation it goes like this then it bends and then moves forward okay so now I'm going to do the animation of that foot the bending this part let me this section right here okay let's do that I go back to my animation and now right now I have the correct positions of this bone now I'm going to focus on those other two bones the bones of the foot so for that let me select those I select both and I'm going to let me go to frame one and now if I do anything to them this is what is going to happen if I go for example to this position to key pose 2 there's going to be an interpolation between the moment I add the movement and the beginning and I don't want that so I want to lock that position I want to lock this position in this pose pose number one okay so let me go to pose number one select the transform tool and just click on them I click to add a keyframe on the rotation on both and then control I want to also stretch let me show you why as you can see pay attention to this bone this bone has to shrink it goes from this right now this is the length you see it's very long the natural size and then when it goes like this it gets smaller you see a little bit smaller almost the same size as this one as the toes so because we also need to add a keyframe for the stretch I'm going to use control look if you hold control you will force scale instead of trying to find the correct spot right here I just control and click and now I have two keyframes 
right here. One for the rotation, you see, the red one. And another one for the scale. This is the representation of the scale. Okay, so now I have that position locked. Then I'm going to lock it again here. So I can just copy and paste the ones from the pose one. And now I can go to frame 60 and rotate them. Whoops, let me control. No, let me press B and select on an empty space. And then press T. Select the transform tool and make this smaller. It's going to go like this. I'm trying to create a 45 angle from the ground. Almost a 45 angle. It ha doesn't have to be perfect, but almost. Okay, so this is okay. And that's the position. Now let me go to frame 66. And in this pose, I'm going to align the foot to the ground. Okay? I'm keeping it small. And then it goes from that position to... Let me select both bones. Right now, I only have one selected. Let me choose the bone selector tool. Shift. Click on the other bone. And now that I have both bones, I'm going to copy and paste the ones from the position, okay? Actually, no, actually, it has to be the ones from... Ah, no, 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 it, it's the same. Let me, let me see. I copy and paste. Yes, this is what I was looking for. And now I have this animation. Ah, you see, this is organic. Very good, very nice. And now I have, that's the animation of the left foot, okay? Okay, great. Now in the next lesson, we are going to animate the right foot. See you there.